Okay, happy Sunday. So I know I said the next video was gonna be installing the H and R springs, um, but I'm actually gonna make another video right here, real quick. So I was asked, um, I've been asked this question a couple of times about the CarPlay and the Bluetooth. So sometimes when you get in the car, we get in it and the CarPlay does not connect. Uh, for me, it happens occasionally, but uh, it doesn't happen every time. Come on, Nala. Come on. So I just want to make a quick video and show you. First, I'm going to show you connecting how my phone connects to CarPlay. And then I'm going to delete everything and show you connecting it on the first setup. Because the there's something, there's a pop-up you have to acknowledge on the first setup or it's going to give you problems in the future. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to start and I'll show you how this connects. And we've got an audience here. You got anything to say? No? Alright. You're just watching? Alright. Well, let's watch the CarPlay connect. So, first, we need the key because it's not in. Put the key in. And let's watch. CarPlay connect. It should connect on its own. It takes... A, it takes few seconds it's not instantaneous this is normal this is completely normal when it takes its time connecting like this there it goes and even when you see this screen it's not fully connected sometimes it takes a few minutes before things populate before music starts playing now if you just used carplay and you were driving around you turned your car off you went to the gas station you went inside the store whatever and you get back in your car then the music will usually pick up right where it left off and it usually connects faster. But the first time you connect it, the first part of the day or if it's been off for a few hours, it seems the system's a little slow to connect. So one thing I wanted to show you while we're here is I'm trying to keep everything in the frame. So if I go here and I go to, oh, let me back up. So this is your home page on your settings, right? And if I look at Wi-Fi, see where it's connected to the Wi-Fi? And so if I go to, and that's it, actually the Wi-Fi is connect, is the Bluetooth, is the CarPlay. Um, let me turn that off. And if I, even though it looks like it's off, I selected it, right? It says disconnect CarPlay if I try to turn off the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi has to be connected to, let me get rid of that. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Wi-Fi has to be connected to your, your, uh joy auto system if i go to bluetooth see mine now the joy auto does not say connected and i don't i don't think this is a problem with with the joy auto i think this is apple and their carplay crap that they do because the carplay used to work better and then then before this previous update there was a bug where google maps wouldn't even display and then they fixed that and i've noticed CarPlay a couple years ago worked perfectly and every time they've introduced a new iOS software update they've messed something up um, when I first got CarPlay there was so it was two updates ago when I first got CarPlay it would disconnect all the time it would not stay connected then they did an update and it connected more stayed more connected better now it stays connected almost every time um, now if I did this 10 15 times in a row two or three of those times it wouldn't connect uh, but let's go back here real quick to see uh, Bluetooth shows not connected but let's let's select something let's put on uh, let's go to music and see if it plays oh first I got I got to change the source to auxiliary because I had it on radio all right and there you go music's playing so it, it is connected even though it says Bluetooth not connected that that is not a in my in my opinion that is not a uh, a carplay joy auto system thing that's an apple ios thing because it used to connect joy auto with bluetooth um let's see what happens if i turn bluetooth off um uh, let's go here to let's go here now playing let's see 
Turn Bluetooth off. Now you saw it says Bluetooth not connected. Bluetooth is off. The music is still playing. So obviously Apple changed something in the iOS where this now connects with Wi-Fi, not with Bluetooth. I don't know what to tell you. But we're going to take this a step further. We're going to disconnect. We're going to forget everything on here and set this up like it's the first time. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let go. Actually, we can just turn the car off. There, just the car's off. Got the key right up here. So you see the car's off. So let's go to Bluetooth. Oh, before I do that, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this real quick. Bluetooth on. Joy Auto. Forget this device. Forget this device. So we've forgotten that. And CarPlay is still selected to on, right? One other thing I want to show you. From you from these from your home settings, go to uh, looking for I, I can never find it, so I just type in the search. I just put in CarPlay. 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 General. Oh, it's in general. Okay. See where it says ID core? That's what you need for CarPlay to work. And that's selected to CarPlay. So I'm gonna put forget this car. Forget. Okay. Available cars, none right now okay so let's just close everything we're gonna start from scratch I've got three little puppies here pushing me on my shoulder trying to keep the camera still all right let me uh set this up on the tripod here for a second and see if we can get this set all right so we're gonna connect this up like this is the first time we've connected joy auto so pretend that we just connected all your hard wire or all your hardware you've connected you draw auto to this, but you have not connected your phone yet. All right, so let's turn the car on. And the car is going to boot up. PCM is not very fast at booting up. It takes a, it takes a good couple seconds, so I always give it a second to do its thing. Um, if I press the Navi button, it's loading up. There it goes. That's the default car play. Nothing's going to turn on because that's the default joy auto and you can see it says carplay well you guys can't see it because i'm zoomed out but it says carplay usb card and android so the only thing i care about is carplay because i have an iphone i don't have an android it does have a usb slot and it does have a card slot an sd card slot on the joy auto system and that's what the other two options are for um also you can let's see if you can see it right here. I've, I'm using it for my daughter uses this. She plugs it. So let me put this down for a second. So right here in front of my move this down right here in front of my shifter, I've got the USB from the Joy Auto system. That would also display up there. This is if you want to add a photo, uh, media like a movie or something. Uh, my daughter uses it to connect her phone, so she doesn't have to connect with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Neither do you. If you want to use a wire connection, that's what that's for. Um, but that's what USB is. I don't use it at all. My daughter uses it whenever she rides in the car with me. All right. So, system is blank. It's not connected, right? So, let's go here to... Uh, let's go to settings. Now, if you remember before... Let's go, go to Wi-Fi real quick. You remember before I showed you where my car, it didn't connect on Bluetooth, it said connected on Wi-Fi. And I, I told you that I think that's an iOS thing. So here's that Wi-Fi AP thing. So let me select it. It's going to ask me for a password. Don't worry about it. You don't have to select this Wi-Fi network. It's going to do it for you through the, through the setup. So I'm just going to hit cancel. So you can ignore that part of it. Only thing you have to do is, there's, there's two things you got to do. Okay, so first let's go to Bluetooth, which is down here. I'm trying to, if I'm, this is confusing, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it simple. So you can just completely ignore that Wi Fi section. It's just, I just wanted to give you some background info. All right, so if I go to Bluetooth, it says Joy Auto. It may say hands free. Give it a second, it'll change its name to Joy Auto. So if I select Joy Auto, let it connect, and it says, Do you want a pair? It gives you a number. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about this code because this is an aftermarket system. It's not going to ask you for that code again. So just hit pair. Do you want to allow your contacts to sync? Yes. Hit allow. 
and it's going to connect, right? But you're not done. This is only part one. Connection unsuccessful. Don't worry about that. Um, it, it says connection unsuccessful, but don't worry. Uh, it, it don't, the reason I say don't worry is because you can see, even though it says not connected, it has Joy Auto on this list. So it paired Bluetooth. So I'll get out of this. Go down here to general. You're, this is the general uh, part. Uh, general. There's CarPlay. Select CarPlay. And then it's going to look for available cars. Takes, it takes a minute. There you go. There's Joy Auto again on the CarPlay. Select Joy Auto. It's doing its thing. Use Car. This is the most important step. Use CarPlay with ID Core. You want to hit Use CarPlay. If you don't hit Use CarPlay, it won't connect uh, every time. And then you see the screen. It connected to CarPlay automatically. Music started playing. So, one other thing I want to show you, this is very important. While you're still on the screen, before you back out of it, go to ID Core. See right here it says CarPlay. Make sure that's selected to on. Uh, let's get out of this. Uh, and remember the Wi Fi thing I showed you earlier? Uh, back, let's go back one settings. So we'll go to, there's Wi-Fi. Now you see Wi-Fi is connected to that AP one again, right? Let me select that. And it has Wi-Fi. It, it, comes, it comes and goes. I'm not worried about that. That's not important. Hit the info on it. See where it says auto join? Make sure that's selected too. Now, I bet you if I go over to Bluetooth, See, it doesn't show Joy Auto connected, but obviously it is connected, even though my Bluetooth is not connected. It is connected. It's connected to through the Wi-Fi. That I think, like I said before, I think that's an Apple iOS thing. This, this though it shows not connected, is false. Uh, it really is connected through Bluetooth, um, even though it's saying it's not. If I select Bluetooth off. It's still playing because it's connected to that Wi-Fi. It shouldn't be playing, but it is. Uh, it's a weird. It's weird. That is all an Apple iOS thing. Um, which Apple iOS do I have? That's kind of important too. So let me go back to see here. Um, general and about. Uh, I am running fifteen point one point one. That's what iOS software I'm running. Now you can see everything's working. Uh, settings. You can change your settings here. Is this settings here on this page? Let me take this off from the mount. Put the phone down. So this settings part, this doesn't change any of your connection settings. This is just how it looks. Wallpaper, we'll go back. Uh, suggestions on dashboard. That's the only thing you can really do in this settings page. So, this you can't really do nothing else with this settings page, even though it says settings right there. There, there you can't change a connection setting, all your connection settings are going to be done on your phone, not, not on the uh, on there. Uh, but this is how it works for me, and now. Like I said before, if I sat here and, and turned this on and off 20 times, maybe two or three of the times it won't connect. Um, but actually, since the last software update, it connects every single time. Um, in the CarPlay used to work absolutely perfect uh, on, when it first came out. And it seems like every time Apple releases a new software update or an iOS, it has some kind of bug. Uh, the software, the iOS before this one had a bug where Google Maps wouldn't display for no reason. It displayed on my phone just fine and everything else in CarPlay worked, but it wouldn't display on CarPlay. Uh, once I updated the iOS to the new one, it worked, worked fine again. Um, and also, 
two updates ago, it would just disconnect all the time and I'd have to turn Bluetooth on and off. And, and then they updated the software and it stopped doing that. And now it seems to be very reliable. It seems to stay connected all the time, connects every time I get in the car. Uh, one other thing it does is, uh, let me show you this. This is, I like this feature. So I go here, you see it has my garage door so I can open and close my garage door from here. I'll press it real quick. You can see my garage door is opening. Uh, close the door. Close my door so my little dogs don't run out. And anyway, so that's my CarPlay setup. That's how CarPlay works for me. Uh, hey, look, it just changed by itself from obstructions detected to close. There's no obstruction there. Yo, I almost dropped my phone. So. Uh, actually, let me do it from like how more, most people do it. They don't go to their settings. They go up here from the top screen, and I'll hit uh, Bluetooth. Turn it off. CarPlay stays connected. But check this out, and this is why I think it's iOS. See, it looks like my Wi-Fi is off, right? If I select it. It says disconnect CarPlay. But the Wi-Fi appears it's off. It really is not off. So then if I hit disconnect CarPlay should disconnect but it's not doing it see staying connected so i don't think it's a joy auto system issue i think it's apple software uh i don't have a problem with it i don't care it works for me it works for me 99 percent of the time it works perfectly uh when i did that cross-country trip it worked perfectly so uh i just want to make this quick video show you what to connect what not to connect or or what to look for um but the most important step was after you connect it on Bluetooth. So step one, connect it with Bluetooth. It, it, don't worry about the Wi-Fi part of it. But step one, connect it with Bluetooth. Step two, go to CarPlay and select ID Core. And that pop-up, you have to se select Use CarPlay. If you don't, it's probably going to have issues uh, and it won't ever connect. Um, and then the Wi-Fi part of it, you just have to verify that that is set to auto-join. Um, I hope this helps. If anything, I hope it confused you more. <laughs> so uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. You want me to do another video about a different part of it? Uh, you want me to do a video specifically about one part of CarPlay? I'll do that as well. All right. Thanks. Enjoy your week. Happy holidays.